the long-awaited sculpting of the nail. This fourth part of our Liquid and Powder Basics series, we're gonna cover how to sculpt and build out that gorgeous nail using our C&D Liquid and Powder system. So get your nail brushes out and let's get sculpting. <laughs> monomer and polymer ready to go. Starting with zone one, apply your medium wet bead to your extension edge. Be sure to place your bead at your desired length. Using the belly and flags of your brush, press your bead towards each sidewall, ensuring the corners of the natural nail's free edge are being encapsulated. Maintain the bulk of the bead at the center of the nail. Using the sides of your brush, start to form the shape of your desired nail. Now apply the second bead to zone two, the apex area. This is where your nail needs the most attention because your apex is where you will build necessary strength to the nail, ensuring durability and wearability. Keep the bulk of the bead in the center of the nail as you taper the edges of the bead from sidewall to sidewall. Press and pull to create a smooth transition from zones one and two. Taper zone two into zone three for an easy transition into those zones. Keep in mind, we are sculpting with our brush, not our nail files. The third bead will be applied to zone three. This bead should be slightly smaller in size. Press the edges of your bead down into the nail using the flags of the brush to create a tapered, smooth transition from bead to natural nail. Using the belly of your brush, press and pull for that smooth transition from zone three to zone two. Once the nail has set, carefully remove the form by pinching under the extension edge. Release the back wings and pull the form down and away revealing your beautifully sculpted nail. Check all angles and views to confirm a balanced nail. Now you're ready to finish file.